Mars. Are there living creatures on it? NASA couldn't figure it out, nor could Bowie. Maybe we can. From primitive skulls to a living spaceship, these are five scary Mars creatures caught on camera. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. That being said, let's begin. Huh? Hmm. Number five, primitive skulls. A lot of stuff we're gonna be talking about today come to us thanks to legendary conspiracy theorist, Scott C. Waring. If you don't know this guy, he's got an internet reputation that rivals PewDiePie and Ninja combined. At present, he runs the website UFO Sightings Daily, which, as you may have deduced from the name, aims to spot a UFO, or something similar, daily. It's a heck of a task. Scott C. Waring has dedicated his life to combing through every NASA photo he can get his hands on. He spends every second of every day looking at other planets via services such as Google Earth Pro trying to find proof that the world is more complicated than any of us may have ever realized. Today, we're going to be looking at some of the strangest things he's found on the planet of war, Mars. First up, Mr. Waring thinks he may have found skulls of primitive Martians. His discovery came courtesy of a photo taken by NASA's Spirit rover 14 years ago. To quote Waring in regard to his own discovery, he said, This is odd, I know, but I found another face on Mars. This face has a lot of details so that we can truly make out what the alien species looked like. I can easily make out the neck, bearded chin, cheeks, mouth, ears, nose, eyes, and forehead. His discoveries in the photo didn't stop there. Another rock picked out by the eccentric UFO hunter supposedly shows the famous ancient philosopher Socrates. Waring said, this is Socrates, the great Greek philosopher and teacher. Every detail about the face matches perfectly. Was Socrates from Mars? Perhaps. That would explain his advanced and organized way of thinking and how he tried to influence the world with it. If we follow Waring's theory, this means that Socrates may have been from Mars and what Waring has found is a statue built in celebration of Socrates many great achievements. What do you think? Could there be legitimacy to this theory, or is it merely the ramblings of a madman? Let us know what you guys think. As for Waring, we know what he thinks, and he thinks these skulls and face-shaped rocks are hugely important. Waring claims knowing more about the faces on Mars could help us if we ever meet an alien species. He wrote on his blog, why is this important? A person's face is their autobiography. By seeing the face before meeting the species, it can make people relax knowing what they will be encountering. But as much as Waring may be adamant that he has found genuine evidence of Martian creatures, his claims are not backed up by the scientific community. Space Boffins, good band name, have not found any clues that there is or ever was intelligent life on Mars. In fact, alien expert Nigel Watson, author of UFOs of the First World War, said Waring's claims were little more than fairy tale. He said, It's a stretch of the imagination to see this rock as representing the head of Socrates. Certainly, Mars has not been habitable for human existence for a very long time, so it is impossible that he could have lived there or had a statue made of him a few thousand years ago. As a philosopher, he might have liked Waring's thinking outside the box, but he would have posed plenty of questions about the logic of his argument. NASA themselves even got involved in shooting Waring down. They claimed that there were no skulls, no face-shaped rocks, and Waring was merely experiencing pareidolia. For those unfamiliar, pareidolia is the psychological phenomenon where people see recognizable shapes in clouds, rock formations, or other otherwise unrelated objects or data. But among Waring's fan base, the overzealous way in which Watson and NASA have shot Waring down is suspicious. They think Waring may be onto something quite valid, and NASA are trying too hard to shut him down. What do you guys think? Was Socrates a secret Martian? Are the red sands covered in the dead skulls of former Martians? Be sure to shoot us up with your views. Now it's time for the star topic. This is the only item on our list today that was not brought to our attention by the legendary Scott C. Waring, but it is incredibly intriguing nonetheless. When exploring a subreddit dedicated to Martian evidence, we found this photo uploaded by a user called Connor Loves Cars. He claims that this photo belonged to his granddad, who, get this, used to work for NASA. Apparently, NASA wanted all copies of this image destroyed, but Connor Loves Cars' granddad kept this one for himself. What do you think? Is this genuine or just a hoax? Comment down below with the hashtag star topic and we will pin the best comment in relation to this picture. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. Crashed UFO 
The second of Scott Waring's theories we'd like to bring to your attention, so we will, regards the possible discovery of a crashed UFO in the sands of Mars. He found the peculiar discovery with the internet service Google Mars and quickly jumped onto YouTube to talk about it. He said, This is a UFO that has crashed into a crater on Mars. It really looks like a thick disk spacecraft, and it is strange that nobody at Google edited it out. But by simply rotating the compass, the object looks a little bit different. You can see burn and scorch marks, sure signs that something crashed here. Simply put, Waring thinks he may have found a UFO that has crashed into Mars. This is incredibly interesting. Normally, when we think of spaceships crashing, we think of them crashing on Earth, but we never stop to think that aliens from other planets may crash on other planets. Is this a Venusian who's crashed on Mars? A visitor from Jupiter who's crashed on Mars? Or is it just a Martian who crashed on their way back home? Waring even speculates that the unidentified object is a biologically grown spaceship because the craft's rough edges resemble something organically grown. If that theory is true, not only might there be living aliens inside the ship, but the ship itself is a living creature. That's incredible to think about. It's some Farscape stuff. The innocuous disc in this photo may be a giant living Martian. Backing up his theory, Waring said aliens have figured out how to do things quick and faster than humanity. This is one of the most detailed living ships I have ever seen. I have seen a lot of blue structures on the planet Mercury, but never a blue UFO. Waring proceeds to illustrate just how big this apparent anomaly is and the size of the so-called scorch marks. Using sophisticated photo editing software, the scorch mark trail measures 6.25 miles or 10 kilometers, while the UFO itself is 1.28 miles across. The video uploaded to YouTube quite recently garnered a whole bunch of comments from Waring's fan base, offering their own interpretations. Mark 01920 commented, I could be wrong, but to me, the blue light area looks like light coming up from a huge hole of an underground base rather than a disk, but I bet many UFOs go in and out of it. It looks awesome, whatever it is. And UFO Factor Fiction suggested, directed energy experiments to melt bottom layers of Mars to expel oxygen from ice under the crust. However, not all of his fans are convinced that the object really is a UFO. Abducted Christian UFOlogist wrote, this is beautiful. It does look like a crash, but I think it may be an erupting sulfur volcano since there are volcanoes on Mars. But we don't care what Scott Waring's fans think. We care what our fans think. You handsome little ragamuffins. So tell us, is this photographic evidence of a giant living spacecraft, or is it just a whole bunch of nothing? Number three, Temple. From a crashed ship that may contain or may even be a living creature to a whole temple that, if it really is a temple, will be packed to the rafters with Martians. In one of his posts for UFO Sightings Daily, Waring shows this photo taken by NASA's Curiosity rover. He says that in the far distance you can see a visible temple. If he's right, the temple will be full of Martians, probably in the middle of their own version of some kind of religious gathering. Waring explained on his site, the structure has five or more levels, each one getting smaller than the one before it. The top level Level being the highest. The main structure at the top of the level looks like a pyramid with the top built flat. Each level has a flat, perfectly horizontal top so that someone or something can walk on it. Scott went on to express his frustration that Curiosity probably won't bother to investigate the temple further. Waxing lyrical about his frustrations, he wrote, I believe the rover will not investigate this because NASA's true mission is to drip feed the public boring information about space so it satisfies them but keeps the public in the dark about the true nature of the surface of Mars. Some people shot Waring down saying it's nothing but a pile of rocks, but others really think he's onto something. If he is, this might be one of the most interesting images on this list because not only does it suggest Martian life, it implies a culture. What do they do with temples? Why do they need them? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Number 2. White Light if the Gorillaz song White Light off the album Demon Days has taught us anything, it's that sometimes lights can be white. And one such white light may have been spotted on Mars. And if there was a white light, somebody had to cause it, right? Martians confirm. The light was spotted in this NASA photo of Mars, but the agency adamantly insists it was not caused by aliens, despite people like Scott C. Waring aggressively disagreeing. The snap was taken by NASA's Curiosity rover. Sometimes with photos like this, Waring is one of the only people to start dissecting it, but this one has grabbed the attention of a lot of UFO hunters. Taken from the Martian surface last week, it features a bright spot that sits on the horizon of a distant hill. Somebody on Twitter was immediately interested, writing, Mars rover captured a glowing light 
light in the distance. Alien signals? I think yes. Another, perhaps ironically, said it's totes aliens. LOL. The car-sized Curiosity rover has been continuously sending photos back to Earth since it landed on Mars in 2012. The black and white raw image was taken by the rover's right nav cam on June 16th, 2019. It's not clear what caused the white spot, as photos taken immediately before and after the strange snap showed no bright flash. This suggests the white light is controlled in some way, adding to the theory that it's a very clear sign of alien life. But despite the pile-on of believers, NASA continue to insist they're wrong. According to them, the streak is simply a flash of sunlight bouncing off the red planet. A NASA spokesperson told Fox News the anomaly is likely an effect of the sun, but the use of the word likely has got people like wearing suspicious. Number 1. Alien Doorway Writing for a different website, ET Database, Scott Waring has another intriguing sighting of possible Martian life for us. He thinks he's discovered an alien doorway on the surface of the planet of war. Huge, if true. The size of the structure reaffirms the UFO expert's previous theories regarding the characteristics of the alien civilization that lived on Mars. He's long been banging the drum that Mars was once home to an epic, war-mongering race, and this doorway is further proof. Waring, I feel like I can call him Scott now, obtained the image through Gigapan, a private company that provides high-resolution interactive panoramic photos. The company was founded through a collaborative effort from Google, the Carnegie Mellon University, and NASA's Ames Research Center. In the photo, you can see several black, volcanic-like rocks sort of seen scattered across Mars's surface. But located near the center of the image is a rock that's somewhat larger than the others, intriguing a clock. Zooming in on the object reveals an oval-shaped opening on its side, which looks like a sort of doorway. According to Waring, the opening is an actual doorway that was intentionally disguised in order to adapt to its environment. It's an incredible theory, and there's more evidence. He also pointed out that there's a trail leading out of the rock's opening. Due to the condition of the trail, Waring speculated that it is still being used, which means that the being that created the doorway could still be living there. Scary stuff. Of these five things, which do you think is the hardest evidence for life on Mars? And what do you think the Martians used that temple for? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.